Hey guys, so in today's video I'll be showing you how to edit and cut B-roll onto your footage in DaVinci Resolve 15. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so before we get into today's video, what is B-roll? Because you may have heard the term being thrown around a bit in the filmmaking and editing like industry and like filmmaking industry. Okay, so B-roll was filmed after the fact and it's just another way to add more detail into your videos. So you may see a tech YouTube video and they might do a view of a piece of technology and they just add B-roll into there just to make it, just to um, give like a close-up of the uh, of the product and just to make it seem more interesting but also it can be used for information you could have it so it demonstrates something so you may be talking about like how to set up a softbox and then in the b-roll you have you setting up the softbox so yeah it's a very useful thing for video editing and yeah i really like recommend people to do this just to make it more interesting especially if you're making um if you're making youtube videos and you talk to the camera a lot and a lot of the videos just this me talking to the camera it's very it's very useful just to give a bit more information and make your video more interesting but anyway let's get into how you edit b-roll okay so we have a little clip here in my um timeline and this clip I just made it earlier today and it's just used for this video and in this clip I'm just talking about this little this um and ball head and I'm just giving you a little review of it it has some weight to it which is really nice especially for a ball head uh, especially for a camera head you need some weight to it just so okay so now we have the clip in our timeline in our timeline here let's go over the two main ways that you um that you can see b-roll and the two main ways that you can edit B-roll pretty much. So first of all, let's talk about the setup of my timeline. So I have my timeline down here. I have my main um, viewing page over here of my timeline, but also over here I have my media pool open and I've added a bin for my, uh, especially for my B-roll. And then over here is just a preview window. So we're able to drag our, um, our clips onto here and we're just able to see, is this the right clip that we want? And then, then we are able to put it onto our timeline. Let's just show you the first main way of doing it. And then later, we will show you how to add, properly edit it on. So let's get this clip here and then let's just drag it onto our uh, video, onto our timeline. Now the first way of doing it is pretty much just grab the clip and then put it onto the second uh, track layer of your timeline which allows you to still be able to hear um, the voiceover in the background but you have the b-roll footage on top of it. Now this is very good for demonstrational uh, b-roll and you have its um, you can still hear the talking in the background. We can hear my voice and then also the B and then the B rolls on top of it. You need some weight to it just so it doesn't like so it's like so you have more control over it when you're um like uh, operating. Now that B roll isn't edited, but later we'll show you how to edit it. So the next way is very good for cinematic intros and also if you just want to split up your video. And that is just to have it so if we try and find a good breaking point in this video, so it's like so you have more control over it when you're um, like uh, operating it. Okay, so we could just make a split here in the video. Now, this the second type of B-roll that I could do is have it so you um, cut your video and then you're able to get the second clip and just drag it out. So let's grab this, this bit of B-roll here and you're able to insert it into your timeline. And now I really recommend this if you want to split up your video into a certain way so if you have if you're talking about different parts in the video so if you're doing a view you could talk about the build of it and then you and then you can have a cinematic clip and then you're able to talk about like what what it can do and then you have a cinematic clip and it's a very good way just to split up the video and also as i said earlier it's very good for a cinematic interest so when you're um like uh, operating it Okay, so that's the two ways that we're able to put uh, B-roll into our footage in DaVinci Resolve 15. But now let's talk about how you can edit it and also like change it a bit. Let's grab this clip, we haven't used this one yet. So, as you can see here in the preview page, we have a lot of it where it just doesn't show the clip. It's a rather long B-roll and of course we don't want like an 11 second long B-roll shot. So here is where you use the in and out point for the preview and this is where the preview page window is very good for it. So if you want to set an in point, so this is where the video starts at, you can press I, but you can also use this arrow here to set the in point. And you go like, okay, so we want to, it to cut there. We can either press O to set the out point 
or we're able to press this arrow here. So now this is the clip that we're going to put onto our timeline. There's three different ways that you're able to add this to your timeline. The first way is just to uh, drag the clip and then you put it down and it's just the uh, shortened clip and there you have it, it's on your timeline, very simple. But with this one, we both have a video track and an audio track. Now, if you want to have it so it's just the video track, so there's no background, so you don't have any of the audio from the video, so it's just the video track, no audio in the background, we can go down onto this little icon down here, which is the video one. And we drag that, and as you can see, it only drags down the video clip. So we don't have any background noise from the beat. Especially for but what happens if we just want to bring the audio for some reason? Now this, you, I doubt that you're gonna just bring the audio in for this type of use for it. But if you want to, so we just go down here and get the audio kind of icon and drag it down to the audio tracks. And there you have, and then you, if you listen to it, we don't have the B-roll on top of it, but we also, but we have the audio track. Special. So you can kind of hear in the background, you need some way we have the background for music oh. from the B-roll. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and got anything out of it at all, give this video a like. And if you're new here and you like what you see and want to see more uh, DaVinci Resolve 15 editing tutorials, uh, subscribe to this channel. We're trying to hit 200 subscribers by the end of the year. But with that all said, goodbye.